Here's uh, David Peltier and Tessa Bonham, the winners of Battle of the Blades Season 3. Um, so Tessa, you did it. You kicked all the guys' butts. <laughs> that how was one part of it. <laughs> I know I know that wasn't the only part of it, but how, how proud are you of yourselves tonight? I'm, I'm proud of Dave for everything he's taught me and uh, for being so patient and putting up with my busy and hectic schedule and being able to lift me day in and day out even though he was sore and his back was achy and his arms were tired. But, um, I'm more thankful that there are people out there that enjoyed our program so much that took time to vote and to help out our charities because they are um, charities that are near and dear to us and we feel that they are a great cause. Yeah, definitely. What would you say impressed you about David the most, Tessa? Uh, I'm going to say pound for pound, he's probably the strongest guy I've ever met in my life. Um, not to say I'm not stronger than him because I am, but uh, <laughs> he is unbelievable ability, unbelievable ability to, like, he lifts men, he can lift grown men and um, laugh about it, and he can be goofy, he can be a kid, but he can be serious all at the same time, and he really kind of taught me, um, I don't know, to love life and to enjoy every second of it, and, uh, you know, he was thrown into figure skating against his will, but he learned to love it, and um, it shows, you know, when he skates, that's why he's the best in the world, and that's why he's so good at it, so... Um, to just embrace what you're good at, enjoy it while you can, and uh, yeah, smile. <laughs> and what about you, David? What What's impressed you the most about Tessa? Well, the kind of human being she is. Um, she's, uh, you know, first of all, she's got a great heart. Uh, is Adi chanting your name? Yeah. Okay. She, she has great... That means hurry up. She's got a great heart. Um, she's got a great soul. Uh, the ability to take on a challenge and not only face it but embrace it uh, not be scared of any kind of situation the ability to cope with a very busy life the ability to you know take on so much and do it so well but not only that but you recognize how great of a person she is when you know she's good in practice but every sunday night she'd be she'd be great and when she needed to be great she was even greater and uh, that is, you know, as far as an athlete, but also she does it, I know that, uh, in fact, uh, in her life, too, so she's just fantastic. And what would you like people watching to take away from, from this, from you coming into this contest and doing what you did? Uh, throw yourself in uncomfortable situations because you never know what you'll find, and I'm absolutely in love and infatuated with the sport of figure skating now. Um, I always had a soft spot for it growing up. My grandma always uh, brought me to shows and had me watch Kurt skate. Um, but, you know, do something that makes you uncomfortable and don't be afraid of it. Just leap in head first and uh, you never know what will come out. I mean, last thing I expected was to win this thing and here we are. Exactly. And David, now, now that you've uh, been on the other side of the, uh, the fence, so to speak, and, and been out here as one of the partners, do you think you'd do it again if they found another girl for you to skate with? This is uh, way too soon to <laughs> say yes or no. <laughs> I've learned through life that uh, through highs and lows, you don't make, uh, you don't take decision. Right. So we'll let the dust settle down, uh, the soap, I guess, and uh, the soap. Yeah. You know what? I, I never close the door to anything. It all depends where you're at at the time. All right. Well, congratulations to both of you. Well-deserved victory, and uh, thank you so much for talking to me. Thanks. Thank you.